Hi folks, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Please do hit subscribe if you haven't done so yet. It really does help when you do that. So today, folks, I've just put a brand new set of pickups in this guitar here. These are the OX4 Hot Dwaynes, which are kind of slightly overwound, uncovered paths with Alnico 5 magnets. Now, I am going to shoot a complete standalone demo of these pickups, and I'm probably going to release these two videos in reverse order. So all being well, you should be seeing a link to that demo up there now, even though I haven't shot it yet. But what I want to do today is really dial these pickups in to this particular guitar before I shoot the standalone demo. Because about six, seven months ago, I shot a comparison video of the OX4 low wind paths and the Monty's paths, both in my SG. And what that video really taught me was the importance of matching the setup of pickups to a particular guitar to get the most out of them. Because in that video, I'd had the Montes in my SG for a couple of months and I'd really fine tuned their heights and pole heights and everything to really make them sound as good as they could sound. Now, when I put the OX4s in, I had to match the setup to the Montes completely because otherwise we would have been hearing differences in pickup heights and pole screw heights and guitar setups rather than the fundamental differences between the pickups themselves. Now, when I listen back to the audio of that video, I think, I probably on balance preferred the sound of the Montes. But after shooting the video, I gave the OX4s their own setup and really dialed them in, in terms of their height and the pole screws and all of that. And now they are my absolute favorite pickups I've ever had in my SG. They match that guitar so, so well, and they're not going anywhere. They're my absolute favorites. So it just goes to show that you really need to dial a set of pickups in to a guitar. You can't just copy the setup you've had before. You really need to fine tune them. So what I want to do today is do just that with the Hot Dwaynes. Now, first and foremost, I think one of the most important things when dialing in a new set of pickups is to have a reference tone of a guitar that you know you love the sound of. So I am going to use the SG with the OX4 Low Wind Alnico 4s in, because this is one of my favorite sounding guitars I own. Now, this video is not an exercise in trying to make this guitar sound like this one, because of course they're very different guitars with very different pickups, and I want them to sound different. So I'm not trying to copy the sound of the SG with the Les Paul, that's not the aim of this video at all. But it is handy to have a guitar that you know you love the sound of, just to compare the new pickups to, to see how they're different and how they're similar when dialing the pickups in. Because if this guitar is incredibly bright compared to this, it's probably gonna be a little bit bright in most situations I put it in. So you take a guitar that you really know and you really love and you've played for years and just use that as a point of reference. So before we do anything with the Hot Dwaynes, and they're not set to any height in particular, they're just sort of thrown in, I'm gonna do a very quick comparison between these two guitars to see what the sort of fundamental sounds between them are currently. So without further ado guys, let's get going. <laughs> So there's some pretty fundamental differences between the sound of those two guitars, but as I said, that's the point. I'm not trying to copy the SG sound with the Les Paul. So to my ears, the Hot Dwaynes are, as the name suggests, hotter than the low winds, and they're hitting the amp harder, but we're also getting more kind of weight in the low end and the low mids. The SG is much more kind of scooped in comparison. Now we are also hearing that these are a little bit darker, that the low winds are a bit more sort of sweet in the top end. But to be honest, that's no bad thing in this guitar because I am trying to turn it into more of a rocker, whereas the SG, it sounds incredible clean as well. I'm not too fussed about the clean sound on this guitar. I just want it 
to be really, really rocking. But also, this guitar is a very bright sounding guitar. Not the pickups as such, but just this lump of wood, especially with the maple top, it's very, very bright sounding. So pickups that roll off a bit of high end are exactly what I was hoping these pickups would do. Hotter pickups are generally, generally speaking, a little bit darker in the top end than lower output pickups. So they're doing exactly what I want there. And I think these pickups are sounding pretty great in this guitar as they are. But as always, it's fun to experiment. So the second thing you want to decide when dialing in a set of pickups is which is the most important pickup for you. Now, if you're Carlos Santana, you'll probably be on the neck pickup a lot. But for me, being a dumb rocker, I'll probably spend most of my time on the bridge. So let's start there then. Let's adjust the height of this bridge pickup to see what tonal differences and output differences that creates. So I'm gonna go down from where I am now and work my way up to the point where I can't really go any higher because the pickup will be fouling the strings and see exactly what tonal differences that creates. So here we go. <laughs> expected then the closer you move a pickup to the strings the hotter the output is. Now the amp today is set with plenty of headroom to spare in terms of volume but by the end of that we were starting to overdrive the preamp tubes by giving it such a hot signal and by the time we got to four turns of the screw up from the starting point the string is sort of wiping out on the pickup so it's not usable having it that high. Now, in terms of tone, I think the biggest difference for me is in the low end. Now, as you move the pickup up, it seemed to have a lot more kind of weight in the low end compared to the starting point. And moving it down, you sort of thin it out a little bit. It sounds a bit more woody the lower down you have it. You know, taking the volume differences out of the equation in terms of pure tone, it seems to be thicker the higher up you go. So in terms of the pickup height for this pickup then, I think I'm pretty happy with the starting point on that because it's much more weighty than the SG, which is what you want, but I don't want it to be way more weighty and way hotter in output. So I think we had a pretty nice starting point. Uh, turning it by a whole turn of the screw at a time, those are quite substantial changes. Of course, you can do much smaller changes than that with you know similar tonal effects, but just less of it. So we're going quite extreme today. So I'm gonna put it back down to where it was and then start looking at pole screw heights. Now, when I was dialing in the low winds in the SG, adjusting the pole screw height was really important. It seemed to add a little bit more kind of clarity and path quack to the sound of those pickups. So at the moment, I've got the pole screw set completely flush and like in, in line with the slugs in terms of height. So I'm gonna do a very similar thing to what I just did. I'm gonna sort of go up by you know one turn at a time and see what tonal differences that makes. So the overall height of the whole pickup isn't going to change. The only thing that will change is the pole screw heights. So half the pickup will be getting closer to the string. So I'm expecting a slightly hotter output but then the other half will still be down where it was. So we're gonna create more of an offset between the coils. So let's have a look at what tonal differences that makes.
So, really interesting, right? Now, I've had comments on this channel before when I've made reference to raising the heights of pole screws, saying, oh, I thought they were just purely cosmetic in the pickup. No, they do make a difference when you adjust them. Now, listening back to what I just played, moving the screws closer to the strings, we do get slightly more output, a more sort of thwacky attack, but we don't get anywhere near the low end increase that raising the whole pickup up gave us. So for me, I think somewhere between one and two turns up is where I'm gonna leave them because the low end is pretty dialed in with the pickup as it is. And as I said, raising up the pole screws doesn't really affect the low end too much. But a tiny bit more high end would bring this guitar slightly more in line with the sound of the SG. And again, I'm not trying to match the sounds, but I do like a lot of brightness and clarity in my sound, even with slightly hotter pickups. And I think raising the screws a tiny bit would give me a bit of that. So let's go for one and a half turns up from where we had it. So there we are then, one and a half turns up on the pole piece screws. Now, raising them up, as I said, you do get a slightly hotter output, so you might want to adjust the overall height of the pickup to compensate for that. It's all a balancing act and it's all very subjective. But for me, I'm very happy with how that bridge pickup is sounding now. <laughs> It's substantially more weighty than the SG and it has the hotter output, but it's it's pretty balanced now. The high end is there, the low end is there. It's not crazy in the mid range, but it has the weight. It's exactly what I want it to be. Now, the next thing you're gonna to want to do is work out what the second most important position on the toggle switch is. So it could be the neck pickup if you're starting with a bridge, but for me, it's always the split sound. I'm a big fan of those kind of Jimmy Page middle position sounds on a Les Paul. So I'm now just gonna play the three positions and flip between them to see exactly what I'm hearing now that we've got the bridge pickup really dialed in. <laughs> So for me, that middle position is almost there. It's definitely got the clarity in the high end now, but I think it's a little bit thick sounding. It's a little bit too biased towards the neck pickup for me. And comparing the bridge pickup to the neck pickup, I think the neck pickup is a little bit too loud. So I'm gonna drop the neck pickup down slightly to see if we can change that. <laughs> So we're almost there now, they're much more balanced, but now that I've dropped the neck pickup down, I think I'm missing a little bit of that clarity. So I'm going to put the screws up another sort of two thirds of a turn to see if we can get a little bit more of that kind of chimey clarity back on just the neck pickup. <laughs> much better. So that neck pickup now doesn't have sort of much more bass, it's not overwhelming that middle position, but it does have a touch more clarity on its own, which of course contributes to the middle position clarity as well. And that kind of middle position quack is one of my favorite things about OX4 pickups in general, in my 330 and the SG and now in this. So I think for me, these pickups are pretty much dialed in now. And as I said, it's all completely subjective. So they're now sounding as good as I think they can sound. Everyone will have a slightly different opinion on what they want to achieve with a certain set of pickups. But I'm very, very happy with them and I'm looking forward to shooting the standalone demo. But before I do that, I want to throw a little bit of gain on just to see how it behaves. And I will put the SG in this as well, again, for a point of reference to see exactly what the differences are now at the end of dialing them in. <laughs>
we go then, with some gain on, this guitar is now everything I love about the SG, but with all the differences that I want this guitar to have over the SG. And specifically a slightly more kind of rolled off top end, because as I said at the start of the video, this is a very bright sounding piece of wood, but with more weight in the low mids and with more kind of output going off to the amp to hit pedals and tubes harder. So that is how I go about dialing in a set of pickups, using a reference tone, but also understanding what you want to be different about this guitar. There's very little point in trying to get two guitars sounding exactly the same, because what's the point? You might as well have them slightly different. So hotter pickups, Alnico 5s over 4s, but having all the sort of good things about how your favourite guitar sounds in this guitar as well, that's what it's all about for me. So do you have a different process for dialing in pickups? Do you just kind of set and forget? Are you a serial tweaker? Please do comment underneath, let me know how you would go about this. This is just my opinion, this is just how I do it. Everyone will have a slightly different system. But thank you for watching folks, I hope this video was interesting. I hope you enjoyed the standalone demo, which I'm gonna go and shoot very shortly. And as always, please do carry on subscribing to this channel. It makes a huge difference when you do that. So thanks folks, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.